Celebrate Independence Day in Tennessee's oldest town. Jonesboro Days will kick off tomorrow morning with a parade right down Main Street. Here with more on all of the fun ahead during the three-day event is Cameo Waters, Main Street Director there in Jonesboro. How are you doing, Cameo? I'm doing good. How are you today? Oh, fantastic. Jonesboro Days. I've, you know, I've grown up my entire life with Jonesboro Days. It has become iconic. It is a great, great festival. Yeah, you know, Jonesboro Days has been happening since the 70s. Yes. And it has changed a lot over the years. Mm -hmm. Last year, we were looking through some archive photos and programs, and one of the first Jonesboro Days, we laughed so hard, they had a Red Man tobacco spitting contest. Uh. <laughs> and we were just so entertained by how much yes. it's changed. Right. Um, I don't think we'll bring that back this year, but we'll have a lot of other fun activities. Amy's just upset because she's not involved in the moon pie eating contest. <laughs> oh, there's still time? <laughs> there is still time to make that happen. Oh, we can Don't make that worry. Happen. All right. But that's just, you know, those little contests, that's just part of the great activities that go on during. But the big thing is, is that parade that happens tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Everybody loves a patriotic parade in Tennessee's oldest town. Right. You know, we have the, the flags flying down Main mm -hmm. Street. The floats are phenomenal. We usually have have anywhere from 65 to 70 floats and a big variety. You have your veterans, you have your school marching band, and then you'll have some groups that really go out and do something really creative for their float. And we're looking at some, some pictures right now of a past parade there. People, you need to get there early, get your spot, and just enjoy it. I mean, there's just so many. You, There's no telling how many people will be involved in this parade. I mean, it, it's a big parade. It is. You know, the parade is something you're absolutely right, Chris. You want to yeah. get there early. Right. And we do have parking yes. over at the middle school. Mm -hmm. And it's just $5 to take the shuttle. And all that money goes back to the school, right. um, which is great, great fundraiser for them. But then you can ensure that they'll bring you right over. You'll, you'll get real close to the festival, drop you off, bring a chair, bring a blanket, right. um, and get your seat early. The parade starts at 10 a.m., mm -hmm. but get there early. And now I know that, you know, I rode the shuttle last year when we and we went down for it goes throughout the 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 festival you could got yes. the shuttle service there the entire time because parking is at a premium yeah. absolutely yep that's how we have it working you know even after the fireworks and things get hectic they'll keep mm -hmm. running until everybody gets safely to their vehicle and that's great and tell us about some of the other festivities the, some other events and things that are going to be going plenty of vendors i know that but talk to us about some of the other things that are going on during jonesboro days yeah so one of the big things at jonesboro days is doc's front porch okay and that's an old callback to Doc McConnell, a famous mm -hmm. storyteller who came to the very first Jonesboro Days Festival and was a regular at the Storytelling Festival. But that features different um, live musicians and storytellers. Right. So that is each day from 12 to 6. So even if you come in the middle of the day and you know, you're know you not able to make it early in the morning for the parade or late for the fireworks, mm -hmm. there's still plenty of entertainment happening. And those are great musicians and storytellers. And we're looking at some of the vendors that line the streets down there. You got watermelon. You got there's just if you're looking for something to eat, first of all, <laughs> you're gonna be able to find it down there. There's gonna be vendors aplenty, and there you also have some great restaurants there in downtown yeah. Jonesboro as well. Absolutely. So we'll have like 13 food trucks and food vendors this year. Big variety. You'll have your classic, you know, funnel cakes and fried cheesecake. But then we also have a few different options. If right. you get burnout on that, we have one group called Peaks and Pies. They're right. actually the food vendor over at Hatley Point in North Carolina. Okay. And they do, you know, like very unique types of pizzas, maybe some prosciutto and balsamic. Oh. So if you're like, okay, I want something a little different. Something a little different. They're yeah. a good one to check out. All right. And you're going to have vendors of all kinds there as well, too. Yeah, gosh. You know, we'll have 55 to 60 craft vendors. Everything is handmade. Uh, most are local. Some are from the surrounding states. But you'll have goat milk soap. You'll have leather items. You know, it's a big mix. And they're artisans of plenty. And it's a great opportunity because you've got them all in one location right there. If you want to do some shopping or maybe further in the year for the holidays, whatever, it's a great place to do it. Yes, it is a great place to go shopping and get something local. Absolutely. And let's talk about fireworks because that's the big draw. You got the fireworks coming up. Big, big time fireworks coming to downtown Jonesboro. Yes, yeah, so the length of fireworks has been extended this year, okay. so it'll be a little extra pow. Um, but those will be on. I like that. 
those will be on Saturday evening at 10 p.m. They will follow the main stage performance, which will be uh, Trey Hensley, and right. then following that will oh, be man. Dan Tominsky. Yeah. Oh, wow. Big time. Big time music coming as well with the fireworks. Yeah. Cameo, thank you so much. Everyone looks forward to this. It's such a fun time. Jonesboro Days. It's going on starting tomorrow all the way through the 6th, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Music, food, activities, crafts, fireworks, you name it, it's happening.